visit any of the concentration camps, the death camps or anything? Got the Buchenwald the day after Pal. He headquarters was at uh, where were we? I guess maybe we were. I don't know if we were still in Luxembourg or we had moved into Wiesland. And the intelligence report came down from the Third Army that uh, uh, they had, we had heard rumors of these camps, but nobody had seen one, that they had taken one at Buchenwald. The old man called me in and he said, they think you can get anywhere as near it. I said, I don't know. So I looked at the map and I said, yeah, there's a little German cub strip there. I can get into that right near the camp. He said, we'll go up and take a look and come back. Okay, so took an L5 Piper up and went into a little grass strip that the Germans had had and uh, for probably to transport their VIPs. <laughs> and uh, saw the thing, wandered around, all the bodies and everything. Were you aware of the concentration camps? We had heard rumors, but we didn't know what they were. But you did visit Buchenwald. Mm, no, and then I really know what it was. And so I came back and told the general, briefed him on what it was, on how the bodies were stacked to be cremated, mm -hmm. uh, probably yeah. say 40 feet long and 20 feet high, like cordwood just throwing up their nude bodies and um, so uh, he said oh, I want to see it and I said well it's going to get dark in a little bit we can't do it today we'll do it tomorrow morning so next morning I took him up he said can you get the C-45 in there I said oh yeah it's a good good size grass strip so we took the C-45 and a couple other intelligence officers up the next day, and of course, the bodies are still there. It's going to take a little while for grave registration to get anywhere near it, because mm -hmm. the fighting is still right close to it. And uh, the doctor was there on the second day, and he said, don't, he said, you were here yesterday, and I said, yeah. He said, you gave a couple of them candy bars. And I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, don't do it. He says, their bodies are so shrunk but you're going to kill him. So, um, then you were at Buchenwald before the war act, before the war actually was over there, before the surrender. Fighting was just yeah, right, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boy, gee. So, the general was impressed, and we went back. And the next day, Margaret Chase Smith shows up at our headquarters. Senator and the Virginia. general was telling her about it at lunch. She's got to see it. So I made another trip. <laughs> As I recall, she I was now it stinks. <laughs> yeah, oh, she, oh, it's tough. she was a senator from Maine. Yeah. And, uh, so I took her up there on the next day. And she wouldn't get near the bikes. Mm -hmm. And so all the, by now all the newspapers and Newsweek and all the other people are there. So they positioned her like from here to that house across the road. Uh, maybe not that far, but away from the bodies, and then they did a special setup with the camera to yeah. make it look like she was near the body. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But uh, General Vandenberg got a call from Eisenhower to 